presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. I hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And uh, come over and join our uh, Tiger's Den, folks. You heard that ad. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, you have your in your pocket all day long, and you really do. It's pretty freaking cool. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love that you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down to 368. NASDAQ's off 182. S&P's off 47. Gold contract down $10.90, trading at 1806 an ounce. We have silver down 49 cents, $20.24 an ounce. Platinum off 20 bucks, 889 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude down $4.14, $105.63 an ounce. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now trading... Up one point at 118.16, the 30 year up a full point plus 22 ticks at 138.20, and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 374 ticks, trading 104.732. Euro is at 104. Yen is at 135.57, and the British pound's at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that you have a lower market. You're going to have some volume in here today. When we take a look at this intraday, uh, let's go to this, like, the SPY's intraday because the volatility's here. This is typical going into a holiday weekend. Bottom line, you're still building cars, and folks, you're building cars to finish this ABC structure on the way down. Uh, you can expect um, coming into the close, you can expect we're going to go for the lows, might break the lows. That's how this thing is shaking out right now. So we'll see how the, the you know, comes to 4 o'clock, but that's my take, and tomorrow's not going to be a great day. That's the SPY. We go NDX, NDX 100, same type of setup. You can see it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the bottom line, you already have the expansion inside the SPYs. You're down 457, you're 279. We take a look at this intraday here. And NQs. Pull those NQs up. What you're going to see here. There we go. So NQs, same setup, man. You're going to go right after these lows. Uh, this last bar here, pff, uh, in fact, it here. What, this is an ABC down now. You got, a, you got an ABC down. So let me just see the top here. So the top, well, the top was 696. The break is 5. 47, there you go, you got 140, gives you uh, 430. That'd be right, 140, one second. Yeah, 430. So that's, uh, yeah, you, you wouldn't be at the lows, you'd be right above them. Actually, that bar right there, the bar when he came off. Bottom line, lower prices are coming at you. That, that's how this whole baby is shaking out. Gold. Let's take a look at that gold market for a second, because what you have with gold is uh, this thing right now looks to me like we're going to go into the 1700s. So if we take if we take a look at gold right here, what you're going to see is that we've done 191,000 contracts. Okay, your swing low. Let me put this up here. Yeah, we got an expansion of volume. Yeah, you swing the the 
1806 swing low only had 165,000 contracts. Let me go look at the GLD for a second. Just I'm pulling the GLD up instead of stringing uh, contracts together. The GLD last low was 7.3 million. We've already to 6.2. Yeah, it wants to break it, man. That's the, that's the real bottom line. And we get over to the good old U.S. dollar. So the dollar out here, uh, now what's intriguing out here today is this. You can see that the dollar got to a price point of 105.541. That being said, it couldn't hold price, but yet guess what? The market still can't hold price. That bottom line, folks, says quite a bit. We take this and we can put this on a monthly because we're finishing the month out today. And on a monthly, what we're looking at 10, let's see, let's look at this. Yeah, see, as long as this trades over, stays over 103,820, 103, bottom line, that's, that's a break top side, and, uh, you know, it wants higher price. Some of the higher volume equities out here in the marketplace today, you have uh, Advanced Micro is down a buck and a half. You got Amazon off 350. Apple's down three bucks. You get NVIDIA down four. We have uh, Tesla down 14. Let's go take a look at Tesla for a second, because what we're going to have here, you're going to see what's also happening now uh, is that the battery structure is inside of all electric cars, folks. Uh, the price points are going up pretty quickly. So Tesla has some volume. Now, you get a sideways move with Tesla today, really three bucks sideways move. But you get 26 million shares traded. Um, that's a lot of shares traded coming into it. Now, notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market. You get a pop here. Like one, one of the big um, headlines today, were, folks, was that mortgage rates are 5.67%. The average is like, oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, and that, that, if that's good news, uh, you know, guess what? <laughs> we're in a whole different ball game. Uh, we take a look at the uh, 10 year right now. Oh, this is, okay, so now it's not gonna be an ABC up, but the bottom line, you're taking a swing point out. You're taking a swing point out of uh, 118.08. You're at 118.17. Uh, bottom line, though, is that you're taking that out with 1.3 million versus 2.2 million. So, yeah, I mean, can this thing run up to, you know, 120? Yeah, it can. Uh, the 10 year right now is trading 2.974. If we go to the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point wise, what you're going to see out here is you get. Um, Positive, Travelers is up, putting 16 positive points, Procter & Gamble 6, Johnson Johnson 1. Taken away from it, Salesforce, minus uh, 49, Goldman Sachs 42, Caterpillar 35, Microsoft 30. Bottom line, you know, you got a lot of equities uh, that are in the red. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow is down 378. Nasdaq's up 190. S&P's up 47. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 407. Nasdaq's off 205. S&P's off 52. Let's go to Bill in Montana. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Tom. Good How you to doing? Talk with you. Hey, have a great 4th of July weekend. I know. I can't wait. It's a beautiful. I love the 4th of July. It's a beautiful thing. I do, too. I do, too. I uh, shoot off a ton of fireworks, and the kids just love it. I know, man. And you know it's so cool? <laughs> So well, I'm sure in Montana they're legal. Around here they make them legal uh, for the 4th of July, thank God. And you can buy the big ones in Tampa, which is great. So those, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm psyched. <laughs> hey, when I'm looking at this, the Amana Goldfield deal, um, and I look at um, Yamana, you can buy 1,000 shares of Yamana at four. 468, and that's effectively if the ratio 0.6 holds of buying gold fields is 7.8, a 15% or so discount. And I guess that's the market saying there's a little suspicion about whether the transaction will hold up exactly as it's been de depicted. My question for you basically is maybe knowing Yamana, I don't know them at all. So it, it, it looks just on a chart like a company that holds its own value and and uh, and you know viability at four to four and a half dollars a share anyway is that what, what would you say about Yamana independently if the deal falls through? Yeah, that's interesting, man. So because when I did these numbers, you know, well, last time I did it was a couple of weeks ago, is that they were going tick for tick. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, no. Listen, Yaman is a good company. They have, they have I mean, they have, they have plenty of revenue. Um, you know, if we look at Yaman, let's say, let's okay. So you got revenue per quarter, four hundred seventy-one million. You know, one point nine billion a year. They kind of, you know, same deal. Uh, but it brings seventy-four cents to the bottom, seven cents to the bottom line, three thirty cents for the year. They still, you can see if you're watching Tiger TV. They got a lot of mines that, you see that growth down there? That's that's a lot of growth, man. Um, yeah, I, you know. It is, it is. So what Bill's saying specifically, folks, is that you can buy Umana at a discount if GFI, if the deal goes through. And I suspect the deal's gonna go through, man. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know, so, you know, I've owned GFI quite a few times. I mean, you know, it's, it's a great, it, it's, it's, let's see, I think it was, let me see what the dividend was. 
Yeah, it's a 3.75 dividend. I remember getting the dividend the last time. Yeah. Yeah, if you buy it, uh, I mean, you're looking, you're, you're, through Yamana, you're looking to buy GFI at 7.8. That seems like a pretty pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do this again. I just want to make sure this is right. So what's happening, folks, is that uh, GFI is buying Yamana, and the sequence is 0 0.60 shares of GFI, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, right. Yeah, so that's intriguing, man. So so the market is saying, so if we take 9.17 times 0 0.60, it's $5.50, man. That's weird, huh? And yeah. your miner's trading at... 4.67. Yeah. That's almost like saying the deal's not going to go through, man. So I, I see what you're saying, that, you know... <laughs> oh man, this is dicey. This is this. Okay, so let's let's look at the. That's one picture, right? The separate picture, Bill, is that I would still wait. The reason I'd wait is that you heard me in the in the beginning. I think gold's going lower, man. So if gold goes lower, yeah. the deal might even get better, better next week. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I. You know. Yeah, no. There's a real real danger of that silver is uh, leading the way down pretty. Clearly. Yeah, and that's telling me once again that the doll is going to turn again and go topside again. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I'd hold off for a bit because you know my markets are pretty efficient, and that that is either saying that okay the deal's not going to go. So if the deal doesn't go, you know it could go lower ASAP. But it looks to me like they're all going lower. So it's like yeah, I just I I didn't know if you. Everything you do is based on uh, technical analysis, so I, I didn't know if you, but I still feel if, if the underpinnings of, of Yamana as its own entity was was looking strong for, for you at four to four and a half. Then, no, no, uh, it is. I think it, it is, and I, I know, know them fundamentally, but, good idea, but even knowing them fundamentally, the bottom line is that, you know, this is a market that's taken everything lower. That, that's... Right. That's what's happening here, you know. So, you know, where my take is, we're not near a low, not even close, you know. So, all right, Tom. Take okay, care. man. Have a good one. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's get over and take a look at the Dow Industrials. Uh, the just where this Dow is laying out right now. So, you have. Okay, so we're into. Right now, we, we, so we came off the 31,885. You're down 1,200 points to then. You're going to come into tomorrow. You get a little doji that's setting up here. You know, this, this, this thing's setting up, man, that you'll get lower price tomorrow. And this would be actually even more dangerous. That you, you're just basically laying sideways. This, was, this is what building cause is all about, folks. That's the bottom line, you know. Um, you know, so... We'll see where this whole baby's going to shake out. If we go take a look at a couple of the big dogs, let's go over to Amazon. Take a look at Amazon. What do you have with Amazon right now? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's close. So Amazon, now this is the perfect situation about building cars. You see how Amazon today got down to 102.52? The low is 101.43, last swing low. Last swing low had 60 million shares. We're already done 72. You you get those types of moves coming into a swing point. It's not done, and if Amazon's not done going downtown, you know this market's not done going downtown. On a monthly basis, what we're going to have is this. Last month, Amazon did uh, 2.2 billion shares. This month, we're at 1.7. You're not holding price. You're coming into uh, 2.4. Um, Pretty intense, man. That's the real bottom line. There's, there's no doubt about it. We go take a look at the NVDA. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. <coughs> NVIDIA. NVIDIA out here. Just broke a low. Yep. Look at this. Gonna be an ABC down. Another ABC down. Oh, man. Okay. One second. 196. You know, at a 40 A to B. That's going to bring you down to 133. 
And right now you're at 151. Another ABC down out there too is that you had Restoration Hardware this morning. They come out with their numbers. It's another ABC down uh, that's blowing away its B point. Has volume behind the move. A lot of volume now, man. Uh, this one here, your A point on this was uh, 314. Your B was uh, 227. Uh, so we got about uh, $87. That's going to line you up at about uh, 180 bucks. And right now you're at 211. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 308. NASDAQ 163. S&P's off 37. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 258. You get the NASDAQ off 140. S&P's off 31. And if we get over to Apple, folks, uh, let's go take a look at Apple here. This is... You know, <laughs> there's so many different news items coming out. You can miss a few of them, but this one is pretty intense, man. And what it is, is that Apple's, you know, former, let's see, yeah, former top corporate lawyer, uh, bottom line, pleaded guilty uh, that he traded on confidential revenue and earnings filings for five years, man, 2011 to 2016. Um, this guy, uh, Lidoff, uh, entered a guilty plea to six counts of indicting charging him with securities fraud. Um, let's see where this... He got fired in 2018 after placing him on leave two months earlier. I, okay, it doesn't have what, the, what this whole thing's going to be about, but man, you can just imagine the amount of insider trading. Um, the journal has a... Uh, uh, 
article today. It's a good article too, man. Uh, what it's about is the aspect of uh, insiders and what happens on the inside is, okay, is that, you know, we always hear the aspect of, uh, okay, they have a, uh, a plan in place to sell shares. Well, the, the article in the journal today, folks, has many of these CEOs that the plan was in place, but yet they put this plan in place within a month, uh, and then they could start selling the shares. And they're showing that many times that most of these companies, okay, the bottom line is that you know, the CEO knows uh, way more than a month prior that this thing is already, already going south. Um, you know, so uh, what does it mean, folks? It means that, guess what? Um, you don't have a level playing field, that's for sure. I mean, it's not even close. If, you, if you're talking about, um, well, the, the way, th this is the way that I look at it, right? And you can look at it any way you want. When you're playing your own game, wh whatever game that you are confident in, in the market, that's what you should play. Because what happens is that there is hundreds of different games inside life, okay? And if you say, stay in your own sandpit and you really start understanding your own sandpit, um, your probabilities go a lot higher that you'll be able to take care of your little sandpit. That's what it comes down to. And the CEOs, okay, they have a sandpit that um, is basically, um, you know, ripping huge amounts of bread very quickly, uh, and they have for a long period of time. You know, and never mind the aspect of how they got their shareholders used to these uh, amounts that they get paid that are like just insane. You know, 40, 50 million for what? For, you know, it doesn't even make any sense. But that's not going to change. You know, uh, that's been going on for a long period of time, and I suspect um, it'd be pretty hard to change it. You know, it could, yeah, we'll see where it shakes out, but bottom line, that's how it's set up. Let's get over and take a look at the XAU, the HUI coming into uh, the July 4th weekend. So we, we, yesterday, uh, oh, look at this. Yeah, you're breaking down, man. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at it. You got the XAU right now down 440. Real question is, what is he going into now? Let's see what we're going into. This is a major break. Yep. This is a major break. And, oh man, this is trouble. Okay, here we go. All those gold bulls are not going to like this one. Listen to this. You get an ABC down, man. Your A points 171. Your B is... 120, you get 51. My God. So we're talking about like 87. We're going to, you know what's going to happen here, man? Yep. We're going, not only is the market going to the highs of the lows of March 2020, that's where the XAU is going to. Let me see if the HUI is the same one. The highs of the lows of 86. And, you know, you look at this and say, that sounds insane. Well, four months ago, we were at 137, so it's not insane. Uh, we go look at the Gold Bugs Index. Okay, so Gold Bugs Index. We broke there. A little bit better. Well, this is going to be interesting. One second. Let's see. How did I put? Yep. Same deal. That's going to be trouble, man. Okay, so 336. That's 100 points. So that lays out 169. And 203 is the high. This is a major problem, man. Yeah. So, um, okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let me reset Discord. I guess it said that. How do I do that? Screen. 
No, I should have that screen is up there. I'm not sure. Bottom line, folks, is that uh, what that is saying to me is that this dollar, bottom line, is going to that 121. Because if we're gonna if we get ABC structures now and the XAU and the HUI uh, bottom line, you know, that sets that up. Let's put I'll uh, put the GDX on it because the GDX has volume up to date all the time. So now the question is, okay, so the GDX, 150 million. No, GDX didn't do it. So the GDX didn't do it, but the GDX broke down. And the highs of the lows of the GDX is 25.50. We're at 27.51. And we bring this back. Let's put this on a monthly. It hasn't been around for 20 years, but we'll see where this shakes out. And... Yeah, that's going to be a problem then. So what you have with the GDX, right, is that you, you are coming right up to a major trend line from the, from the low that was established out here in uh, 2016. And this thing, I suspect next week's going to bust it. So if, if you, this, is, this is going to be a market, well, this is a market at this particular point that is resetting Bottom line, all assets. That's how this is shaking out. You know, that's, 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 that's how it's said. HG, let's go in the copper market, take a look at the copper market. Copper market right now is down nine pennies. Oh, look at this disaster. Holy cow. Okay, so we just went in five months from 498 to, four, to 369. <laughs> uh and you got another ABC down. Oh my God. 52. Yeah, you do. You got another one down. Yeah, so here we go. 458. You got a 90 cent A to B. That can bring you back to uh, 295. Now let me do the continuous contract. HG1, 295. Remember that number. I want to see what this 295 is, man. I'm putting the continuous contract up. Well, 332 is where it broke the top side from, yeah. Last major low was 205, so 295 is on the agenda. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has just launched their July 4th Tiger Dollar Sale. For one week only, we've doubled all the bonuses, where you can now get up to 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good on all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and trading services, and they never expire. For all the details and to get your Tiger Dollars before the sale ends Tuesday, July 5th, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 267. The Nasdaq's off 135. S&Ps are off 35. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right in that front page the Tiger Dollar Sale. Bottom line, you get a few more days to take advantage of uh, up to a 40% bonus. The way Tiger Dollars work is that they're good for all subscriptions at TFNN. Uh, the way this particular program is working is that you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars. You get a 20% bonus, which is $600. You can buy $1,000, and then you get a 30% bonus or an extra $300 for 1300 and the max is $1,500. That gets you a $600 bonus, uh, $2,100, and that's, of course, a 40% bonus. And, you know, the sale will be over July 5th. Uh, check it out. If you have any subscriptions at TFNN, you're thinking of getting in the future, it's a great way to save some money. Uh, S B Y N S B Y N Y N the Sabane. Let's let's be Let's go take a look at this. Whoops. Oh no, so one second, hold it. I just hit this wrong one. What did I do here? There we go. S B S W. S B S W. So this Little baby Sabane, okay, happens to be a, you know, metals miner, okay. Bottom line is that uh, it's one of the only ones that are in the United States that also do platinum and palladium. Uh, bottom line, wouldn't buy it. Not even close. I mean, after, the, the, the bottom line, folks, is that after I just went through that scenario with gold, um, we have an ABC structure down and the NASDAQ and the S&Ps and the small caps, okay. Um, and now we get ABC structures down and the XAU and the HUI. That lays out for me um, exactly what I said even at the beginning of this, that every asset is going to get reset. You know, this thing can go lower. We're getting, we're getting reset. Uh, you know, you're talking about you're at 990 and, um, you know, 960 is the highs of the lows. Uh, this is going to be a good equity to look at um, and to see... Uh, bottom line, uh, you know, if you have a contraction of volume as you get into that 968 area. Um, I know it's only 30 cents, but the bottom line is that what could very well happen is that you could get an expansion of volume into that area, you know. So, so don't touch it. That's the bottom line. That's, let's go take a look. I want to take a look at a few more of these. If I take a look at an Eco Eagle. Yep, you're breaking down. Okay, so let's look at this. Put this on a monthly. Wow. Yeah, look at this, man. The last monthly low, you had the price point of $45, 41 cents. You did 49 million. And we've already done we've done fifty million. It's not good. That's an eco eagle. Let me go look at the king out here, Newmont. 
put this on a monthly too, you know. June's, we're saying goodbye to June right now. So this is going down to the lower end of consolidation. That's 52, you're at 59. And then let's go look at Wrangell Resources. Wrangell's breaking down too. Wow. Okay, so Wrangell. Coming down with volume, man. Wrangell's actually a pretty good setup compared to the rest of these equities out here. Uh, in the gold market, that is, okay? You know, you, there's no doubt. We, you know, from uh, 2020, you're down from, what's that, $30? Yeah, they're down from $30 to $17. Um, so wouldn't buy it. Don't buy it, man, because the bottom line, well, no, this isn't good. So look, look at this, $21. Yeah, this is not cool, man. So picture this. If you're watching Tiger TV, I have my uh, cursor right now on the March 2020 level. Now, the high of the March 2020 level in Barrick is $21.43. The low is 12. Well, we're, deal we're trading at 17.76. So what happens there is that, hey, you you're too far into the, into the bar. That's, that sets up that you can get to $12. This is going to be a freaking mess, man. This is actually going to be a real mess. This is, okay, let's go over to the oil market, too. So the oil's, oil's breaking down out here today. You got it down 387. 340,000 contracts. Yeah, you get a high volume low. It's laying over there at 101. Um, it's going to go after that 101. That's how this, that's how this thing is set up right now. So, it's quite a market, man. And, you know, the, what, what, what has, what has happened if you've listened, if you've transpired these two hours, folks, you just went from, uh, Tim Wood was just on and, you know, Tim was bullish. Um, of course I'm bearish. And, you know, Tim's a great technician. There's no doubt about that. But that's, that's all what makes markets. There's no two, two ways about that. But um, <laughs> it, it, it's the exact opposite view. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Um, and, it, it, you know, what, what, what does happen is this. What, what I can't figure out uh, in general is that the folks that do understand ABC structures, that, you know, how is it getting negated? But the bottom line is that it's, in, it's there. And until it's, you know, technically until it can get above the B point, you know, you have an ABC structure down. And what has happened, and this is something that you really want to wrap your head around. So, so watch what happens. What happens is that the, any type of indicator that you, you're working with, right? This is what you really, this is, this is so cool. It's when an indicator, you know, you hear Larry talk about this a lot, right? What happens is that Larry will talk about, it, you know, your fibs. 0.382506.8 confluence. When they break, that is a major piece of information because most times they don't. So when you're dealing with any type of indicator and it fails, you really want to wrap your head around that. You get more information out of that than you do positive information. And that's not only in the market, that's in life, folks. That's how that works, you know? And when we talk about Larry, I would love everyone to send a lot of great white light out to Larry. You know, bottom line, COVID has Larry and has him good, okay? He's, he's not feeling good at all. So, and what white light is, folks, is this, if you haven't heard it. White light is that you're just gonna start from your head, you're gonna pitch a Larry Pesavento, you're gonna put your hands out and you're gonna send white light to him. Because I'm convinced, well, I'm convinced it works anyway. Listen, I was supposed, I was blind when I was 16. And guess what? I went back to 2020, got shot in the eye. I'm all right, went in the Marines, went back. Now I'm blind in my left eye again. But guess what? It's 35 years later because the sky just opened up. It works. And I think it works, folks, because we are all energy. So you send good white light out to Larry. Any part of Larry that you see that's black, start at his head and go all the way down. Just push it out, push it out, push it out, so he can, you know, basically come back. He's gonna be back, but he got hit pretty hard. St stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Databyte's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now down 358. You get the NASDAQ off 193. S&Ps are off 49. And uh, let's just go take a look at some of these indices as we come into the close. Tomorrow, you know, bottom line is that, you know, you get a lot of people split, no doubt about that. But what you have out here, folks, is that you have an expansion of volume. Uh, you're already in two separate ABC structures on the way down. So uh, I suspect tomorrow you either go sideways, you try to get a little bit lower, um, you know, if we go sideways, then, you know, the, you'll come in with some firepower when we come back next week. Okay, instead of window dressing, it will be window destruction. We go take a look at the, um, the Qs, uh, what you have with the three Qs out here. You know, the, the, the SMHs have led the Qs down, the Qs have led the market down, and there's no different today. I mean, they're unloading. You got 70 million shares that are trading out here. You know, when we... Basically, we're at highs on Monday at 54 million. There's no buyers, man. You know, there's no buyers. And bottom line is that uh, the NDX is literally right next to its lows. Uh, it, that uh, low we're talking about there is a 269.38. And uh, you got to remember that the inside the queues, uh, we're talking that the next ABC structure down is 258. You know, so if we take a look at this, how this baby set up, you get 258. 260 is a swing point that we're really close to, but you know, my, my take here that we're gonna break this, we're all gonna see 219. We're 279 right now, the high of that low of the 20th of March of 2020, that's where that lays out. We go take a look at the SPY, uh, inside of the SPY right now, we 
are at 375 and 313. It's not that far, man. 313. We already had three, hit 362. And that was so it's already down 110 points from where we are right now. It's not that it's not that far, man. That's that's where this market's going, man. So saves you money, man. I'm telling you, man. Do you not be in the thing that you think you're gonna, you know, lose money by not being in the marketplace. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth.